Okay, today I'm going to look at the uh, current hack printed circuit board and the variations that can be constructed using it. At the top here, we have the HCH1 Civic and the Insight G1 current hack board. And this one is fully populated with the two sets of resistors and the changeover relays, the relay coil protection diodes and the transistor and LED uh, indicator and actuator. And uh, on the end here we have a 12-way uh, set of sill pins and a sill socket. And I can pull that off there. And uh, in the car, the wires to the various connections in the IPU compartment would be connected to the sill socket here. And if you wanted to remove the device from the car, all you would do is separate the board here from the connector. Just pull it out and the car will be back to standard. So it's nice and easy to remove if you want to or to change the configuration if you want to try different values of resistors on the printed circuit board. So this one has got the um, th plus 30% and plus 44% resistor setup. So when the relays are not activated you'll get plus 30% current and when you uh, trigger the relay activation circuit they'll all pull across and you'll get plus 44%. Now in order to use plus 44% you will need to uh, do some modifications to the MCM and disable the short circuit fault reporting from the IPU compartment. Um, but if you're just using the plus 30% you don't need to do that. So that's the two stage more expensive version just due to the cost of the relays etc. But uh, that's absolutely fine. And this is the ultra cheap plus 30% board um, with the not relays, hasn't got the relays fitted or any of the other parts and this is just 10 resistors, 4 1K1s to positive, 4 1K1s to one negative and a couple of 240R1s here for the BCM current sensing and this again can cope with either the G1 Insight or the Civic HCH1 plus 30% on the Civic HCH1 is likely to give you some issues. Um, it does work, but um, uh, you know it can uh, overload the IGBIT in that car. But in the inside, plus 30% is absolutely fine. And you can see that's very simple. And that's the basic printed circuit board for the plus 30% current hack. Obviously, you will need to upgrade your main fuse if you're going to be using plus 30%. I recommend a minimum 150 amp fuse for people who are using plus 30% current. Um, because you'll be pulling uh, you know, consistently over 100 amps and uh, it will uh, stress and most likely blow the standard fuse. And again, it will just plug into the sill pin connector here. In fact, if I just unplug that, you can see here, this is what the wires would be attached to that go into the loom. The, uh, if you're just using the non-relay activated version, you actually only need about um, seven or eight wires, if I remember correctly. Uh, obviously, it's a 12-way connector and just obviously it's all color coded. We have the resistor value matrix which I published earlier on. This tells you the various resistors that are required for the various um, percentages of current hack. And on the schematic we have all the wires that you require, <coughs> colors, connectors, pinouts, and these are the wires that you splice into with the multi-way connector here on some fairly short lengths of um, equipment wire and then you can just plug the device in. To activate the relay um, switchover device you just need a 5 to 12 volt signal into the base of the transistor. There is a resistor and a limiting, uh, as a re limiting resistor and diode here and uh, then it will change over on command so you could do it as a switch or you can have it activated by another gizmo such as the IMA CNC which is what I have in the A123 lithium car. I have the plus 30% and the plus 44% board in that car. And the plus 44% is active for assist only. And the um, MCM is modified in that car to remove the short circuit um, error flag check. But for most normal people, I would imagine plus 30% is going to be more than sufficient. And uh, that's what it looks like. Very simple to uh, build and uh, fairly simple to install.